visited by the Prince and Princess of Tech. That's showing my ignorance. Here's the Prince and Princess of Tech. We're at the Roaches in the Peak District National Park. Egg and bacon bat. That looks tasty. And a mug of tea. Can't beat it, can you? Barney's against the clock on her French training, aren't you, Charlie? I am. You have to match up the words in French and English against the clock without running out of time. Well, these flies have run out of time. I want to set the full alarm, so I've given it a big dose of fly spray just to stop them setting it off. We're out for a walk at last, aren't we, Charlie? Stretching our legs. Stretching our legs. Beautiful day. But this is our day off, relaxing day. Getting ready. That heather look beautiful. Look, they're all up there, rock climbing. Won't see them on this little camera. No, I'll get a shot of them in a minute. The Roaches are a prominent rocky ridge located in the Peak District National Park in central England. They stretch for approximately three miles. The rocks were formed over 300 million years ago during the Carboniferous period and they're made up of grit stone and shale. I think we go straight up if you check the map. It's hotter than you think. It is hotter than you think. Uh, so we want to get up the top there where it's cooler. Yeah. What's the matter? Oh, it's separated. Oh. Get your hat on. Let's put the hat on. The midday sun. We are so unfit. There's a diverse range of wildlife here, including peregrine falcons, ravens, mountain hares and adders. The area is known for its stunning panoramic views, which include the surrounding countryside, the nearby Titsworth Reservoir and the city of Stoke-on-Trent. This is a very popular destination for rock climbers with over 400 recorded climbing routes on the ridge. Legend has it that the roaches were named after a giant roach, which is a type of fish that was said to have lived in a nearby pool. The roaches are home to several unique rock formations, including the famous Winking Man Rock, which resembles a human face when viewed from a certain angle. But we never spotted it. Apparently, it's also been used as a filming location for several movies and TV shows, including the 2011 film Jane Eyre and the BBC series Doctor Who. These beautiful views have inspired many artists, writers and poets over the years, including the author Arthur Conan Doyle, who set part of his novel The Hound of the Baskervilles on the nearby moorland.
too close. Uh, Hiya. Hi, Just spotted a lizard. Oh it's, wow, I didn't it was, see it. It was just oh, running across it. the path. I don't know if I got it, the yeah. speck if I did. They come out in the hot weather, don't they? It's so rare to see them now. Yeah. I remember when I was a kid, you used to see them everywhere. Yeah. Particularly basking on um, grass cuttings. What's this sign then? Visited by the Prince and Princess of Tech, August 23rd, 1872. That's showing my ignorance. Here's the Prince and Princess of Tech. Well, wasn't that um, Edward the Seventh? I'm not sure. Oh, one of Victoria's children, anyway. Yeah. I did a bit of this when I was a kid, but I was never any good at it. I wouldn't fancy doing it now, I know that. So what's the score? So before everyone corrects me, I've just <laughs> looked it up. So the Princess of Tech was a cousin to Queen Victoria. Yeah. And her daughter Mary married Victoria's, uh, the then Duke of York, who became George V. Okay. So the Princess of Tech's daughter Mary became Queen Mary of England. Now we know. These stones are covered in sand, aren't they? Makes it Quite awkward. slippy. Yeah. Very slippy. Yeah. We still haven't done a selfie. Oh no, okay. We're not very good at selfies. Sometimes we can do them and other times we just have to give up. Yeah. And I'm very wary since I've had a couple of slips in these trainers. Yeah, be careful. One fall and it could all yeah. be over. If we had room, we'd pack a walking stick. I'm going on the steps. The bigger way. steps that way. Oh, okay. I can cut across to you. If you want great tips on um, hill walking and hiking, um, find another channel because that's not us. <laughs> Little hills now these days, isn't it, Charlie? Yeah. Used to be big hills. Our days of trekking up in the Lake District are behind us. No, they're not really. <laughs> do we little get, ones. You just need to get fit first, don't we? And then we can do them again. Yeah. Boiling in the pan, isn't it? Absolutely boiling. Still enjoyed the walk. Even if we didn't get to where we intended. I cleaned these fans last night and there was a lot of muck on the uh, on the blades and it was making them not very efficient. So I gave them a clean and uh, they were perfect. Charlie will turn it on. Here we go. Oh, that feels so good. Now it's really pumping out heat, um, cold air again. Someone's just taken our space that we've left them. Dead man's shoes. Dead man's shoes, yeah. So we'll have a little chunder around this road. Then we're gonna have to start heading south, aren't we, Bunny? We are. Let's start slowly making our way home. Yeah, we've got family commitments. Quite narrow these parking bays, though, aren't they? Yeah. I thought they'd be wider than that. Last night so there was a few idiots, weren't there? They drive past really fast. Driving and rock 50, you, don't 50 they? or 60 miles yeah. per hour down this road. So they won't really be suitable for a bigger motorhome. I wouldn't want to be up here in a big motorhome, no. It's a narrow lane if both our sides are touching both sides. Yeah, exactly. I like pooping. Going for a walk in your van, you can't beat it.
interesting landscape. Yeah, I wanted to have a ride up here. Heather and the uh, Heather Grain Rocks. Yeah, it's a beautiful place, isn't it? Beautiful. They've got a nice spot here, look. Yeah. But I would say that's a parking space, not a place yeah. to yeah. to stop. Because it's a two-way road. Yeah. Traffic sign up here. Reminds me of New Zealand and the green hills. Yeah, doesn't it? You? Not really. Remember in the area around where Hobbiton was? Yeah. <clears throat> Lovely little spot, isn't it? So we've got four magnets here, and um, each one has got a pull of five kilograms so they're blooming strong magnets I'm going to put two together and then put them in the center of here you don't want to throw these metal ends away because they become the handle for putting the magnet on and off if they're silver they tend to blend in with the background so I just put a bit of cream masking tape around them to keep the magnets in one position and they stand out which is particularly useful if you ever lose them because if you drop one of these magnets they'll stick to anything that's metal a bit around the other end And that's one ready to be used. That's all there is to it. Don't know what's caused all of these indentations in the ground here. Looks like they've uh, been digging for flint or something like that. Way back in time. <laughs> Well, this place is called Weaver Hills, if you're wondering.
It's being able to park up here with all the comforts of home that make us so pleased that we did make the decision to switch from a caravan to a camper van. Well, I think it might be time to get packed up and start looking for somewhere to stay tonight. And what did you think of this park up? Oh, absolutely beautiful. You liked yes. it? Yeah, I mean, there are 360 degree views all around. Yeah. Amazing, nice cool breeze. Um, only downside, there's quite a few flies. Yeah, flies were a pain. And quite a lot of um, cow dung poo. poo, so a bit of a smell in the hot weather. Yeah. But, the views were great, but didn't you say, it, it's on park for night, this one? It's on one. park for night, yeah. Didn't you say that the yobs come up here? At oh, night? yeah, mm. so at night I should imagine it's quite attractive to the uh, boy racers. And somebody had said they just come up and dump there. McDonald's packets and yeah, stuff they were, a lot yeah. of rubbish at night. Okay. <clears throat> but we're not staying the night, so we won't know. No. And I fancy a curry takeaway now, so mm. let's go and get one in Utoxica. Utoxica, here we come. Here we come. You take that. Um. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Yeah, well, Are you I, keeping that in? <laughs> I'm in a rut. <laughs> give me, give me some, cut me some slack. I'm desperately trying to be gentle because of the big ruts yeah. we've got. That's like an old French chateau. It is, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. And a stone old house. Mm, that was some history there. Yeah. JCB premises. It's quite a powerful, I mean, waterfall, water isn't it? Water jet. Yeah. I suppose that's to demonstrate the power of their hydraulic systems. Oh, yeah, JCB. Don't they have JCB land or something? Digger land. Digger land, or. I don't know if that's JCB. Indian spice. Indian spice. Oh, old. It's right outside. Is that? This looks yummy, Charlie. Mm. <laughs> Something I rustled up. <laughs> Well, that curry was absolutely delicious.
Car park in it. Yeah. It's nice so. and level as well. Oh, uh, well, it's a bit slopey. Well, at this end, it's flatter and the middle end. It's well okay, If you enjoyed the video, give us a like, share us with your friends on social media, and hit that subscribe button for more adventures from the Little Red Camper.